I haven't made a video in a while. Uh, this particular video is not Commodore related, but this is also one of my other interests that I have. I'm interested in magnetic tape technology, uh, be it cassette tapes, micro cassettes, reel to reel, that sort of thing. Uh, I do dabble in vinyl a little bit too, but I don't have anything set up to play records at the moment. But anyways, I want to document this. My brother found me this the other day. This was a brand new old stock cassette tape player. As you can see it came in the original package. It had never been used. <laughs> the hilarious thing about this, this is the cheapest cassette player I have ever seen in my life. It has absolutely no functions. Besides, it'll play a tape. That's literally all it will do. This is a Sony Walkman from the 90s. Uh, probably like the mid-90s, I would guess. You know, this one lets you play, forward, rewind, and also uh, play either side of the tape without flipping the tape over. Uh, these are really popular back in the day. In fact, I had one, uh, one of these Walkmans just like this when I was a kid. They're pretty decent machines. This is a... Uh, a Sony voice recorder one meant for recording meetings and that sort of thing and it has the normal requisite functions this one on the other hand all it gives you is a volume control the power on and off and a headphone jack there's literally nothing else on this and if you open it up you'll see why it's got a dead spindle here just a little plastic post this one's actually driven to take up the the tape slack there's a cap stand and a pinch roller and a head that's literally it so if you put a tape in this and play it uh you can't fast forward reverse do anything you're stuck at whatever position the tape was on and you have to play it all the way through one side or the other uh I've seen some inexpensive cassette tape players before but this one really takes the cake I didn't know that they had cut the design down so incredibly far. Uh, I have tested it. It does work. Uh, the speed's not very stable though, so it's not very good for listening to tapes, but I just thought this was an interesting oddity because even back in the day when cassette tapes were really popular, I never seen anything like this at the time. Uh, I did see some that had the similar design with the, the little dead spindle post there, and, you know, they had obviously been engineered as cheaply as possible but those at least let you fast forward this one you just turn it on with the tape in it starts playing and that's pretty much all you can do but anyways i thought this was kind of interesting uh because like i said uh commodores aren't my only uh interest in life uh they're the main one but i do play around with these uh as kind of an interesting aside i also have a very large collection of these micro cassette recorders uh, I used to carry one of these around when I was a kid and <laughs> had all kinds of fun annoying people and recording things and just I've always been fascinated by uh, how they pack so much analog technology into such a small space uh, this particular one here is probably my favorite design of micro cassette recorder of all time this is the Olympus Pro Quarter L200 I have quite a few of these they run on two AAA batteries. They're just amazing, amazing engineering marvels. They really are. It's a full AC bias recording system, so the sound quality is really, really good for being a micro cassette. They're just excellent machines. So anyways, uh, maybe somebody get a kick out of this. I don't know, but uh, thanks for watching.